<clears throat> alrighty, alrighty. Hey, Nicole is in the house. Robot. <laughs> Everybody's in. Everybody's in. What's going on? Let me just put this on a low. Alright, guys, I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to do now. Um, I mean, obviously, we've been going at this f for a whole full year. And now I want to really provide so much value and be relevant. So instead of me just coming through, um, you know, every single day with a pre-designed topic, I really wanted to come out and help you by actually helping you. All right. So for those that are just tuning in for the first time, my name is Prosper Tarowing and I see Peter has just tuned in. Thank you so much. Robert is in the house. Nicole, thank you so much for tuning in. And um, obviously, as you would know, my main um, you know, wish and belief is to uh, ensure that if you're running a business online is to make sure that it is profitable and enjoyable. So every Friday coming in from now, I want to try something different. I want to come in and really answer questions regarding to how you can make your business profitable and enjoyable. And Mr. Stenhouse, thank you so much for tuning in. Peter, how are you going? Jamie, thank you so much for tuning in. I thought you were traveling somewhere. Hopefully you're having a, you're, you're enjoying your time there. All right, so I want you guys to start putting in the questions. Um, you know, Jamie, my man, how's it going? Happy Friday. You seem to have a thing um, uh, 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 of being seen on Fridays. Remember when we did our interview, it was on a Friday as well. Right, I want you to start putting your questions. I already have about two or three that people um, asked me a little bit earlier on. And one of them is from Robert. Uh, Robert asked me if I could distill what it means to close or to convert, um, you know, clients. So basically, Robert, I don't know if you understand my philosophy that we're here to live, we're here to learn and we're here to contribute. So when you have, you know, you know, uh, enlightened your customers as to what to want, um, what's now left is for you to open up the relationship that you're going to be working with them. So what does that mean? That means you're going to be uh, making sure that the onboarding uh, process is good. That, that means you're going to be making sure that you've got all their details. You know how to contact them. They know what the next steps are. They actually are aware of what is it that they've actually paid for. Because some people, when they've paid for a service, it's just something that's going to be another book in the shelf. Or it's just something that's going to be um, yet another, you know, course. Uh, in the hard drive. So you really want to now communicate with them and tell them uh, how you're going to be helping them, etc, etc. Now, Mike, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, today we're doing a Q&A. So if you've got any questions, I want to hear about them. Luke Moroni, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm doing a Q&A today just so that we can spice up the content a little bit. Because if I just come through and I'm, I'm imposing all the topics, um, you know, for you it might not be interesting for a lot of people so since we've done the lunch and learn for a whole full year right now i really want to make sure that you know we we stack up the content and also get you involved so that i can actually help you by um you know helping you now mike says have several questions coming at you Right, bring them on, my man. I really want to make sure that you do get value in this Lunch and Learns. I really want to make sure that your questions are answered. And I want you to know that I can actually help you by actually helping you. If you haven't got any questions and you want me to have a look at your website, I can do a website um, you know, SEO check just to see if you've got any loopholes that you need to correct over the weekend and um, you know, really fix your website as we go along. Aaron Rutson, thank you so much for tuning in. If you've got any questions, type them in and let me know um, how I can actually help you. Now, Mike says, number one, when it comes to building a business, what are the top three to five essentials to start profiting? All right, so there's quite a lot that is involved there, Mike. First of all, you got to know what you're selling and who needs it. All right, because if you don't know who your target audience is, if you don't know who your market is, all right, then you're not going to be able to direct your message to them. How are they going to know you're the right kind of person who can fix the right kind of pain that they have? So if you know, Mike, 
who your target audience is. And once you know who that target audience is, create ways to engage them because people are being bombarded with content every single day, my man. So you want to make sure that you're putting out content that educates them, that uh, engages them, that positions you as the person who can serve them. Because guess what? You, right now, they're being served by somebody else. They are already purchasing that particular thing uh, from somebody else. So you want to make sure they now know you also can provide them that service. Now, Bihari, thank you so much. Can you, if you've got any questions regarding how you can start, scale and grow a business or market or brand or package your services so that it's profitable and enjoyable, let a brother know. Now, Mike says when it comes to building a business, which is the most important area to focus on, sales, marketing, leadership, the most important area to focus on is yourself brother all right no sales no marketing no leadership is going to happen if the engine is not working all right so at the end of the day yes all of those things are tools all right if the brain is not working you might have fingers but they're not going to be able to grasp a, a cup all right so you need your brain to be in tune with what you're going to be selling you need your brain to want that thing to exist in the world because if you're not there to push it through whatever marketing tactic, whatever leadership skills and whatever sales strategy you might use, it's not going to work. It's like if you um, have a $10,000 saddle, right? If you have a $10,000 saddle, oh, let me give you a really good example. If you've got a Ferrari engine in a, um, in, in, in a Honda Civic, do you know what I mean? I mean? I mean, okay, let's do it this way. If you've got a Honda Civic what, what am I trying to say? All right. You need the right engine to drive your business. So up there, if you're in tune with what you do, if you're in tune with who your customers are, if you're in tune with what you're serving, then all the marketing tricks, all the strategies will work for you. Now, Duncan Musaka, thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're doing a lunch and learn um, basically on your questions. All right. So I'm answering all the questions that are being put on the um, you know question feed there. If you've got any questions regarding your marketing, um, your advertising, and how you can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable, let me know. And Robert says, but some of those Honda engines are pretty sweet. <laughs> Absolutely, but you know a Ferrari is designed to go from zero to 60 in, in, in less than 60 seconds. Now Mike says, when it comes to target audiences, how do we find them? Good question. Is there the right way to go about it? The right answer, how do we know once we've found the target audience? All right, so obviously you need to you need to figure out what is it that you're selling and what is the payoff, all right? So if your target audience, the payoff of your product is them, um, you know, having a clean home, are you going to be searching for somebody who doesn't own a property or who lives with his parents, all right? So you want to look at what your payoff is. If your payoff is somebody having, um, you know, good nails, right? If somebody's going to enjoy having good nails, your product and the people you need to search are people that want to have good nails, all right? So how do you find them? Basically, you got to be your own customer. You should be able to consume the products that you're actually selling out there, and you should be able to utilize that service. Because then how are you going to know what that um, audience pain is? How are you going to know what, um, what would actually satisfy them? Because every person has a different worldview, all right? People have a different worldview and expectations as to what they want to see in the world. So if you cannot reach that expectation, if you cannot satisfy that worldview, you cannot convince that person to buy from you. So you need to know what is the outcome? What is the benefit of that person working with you and um, you know receiving your product? And once you know what the benefit is, find out are this person is this person willing and able to purchase that product from me because you might find somebody yes who might need that service who might need that product but do they have the capacity to buy from you and do they really need that pain to be solved all right so at the end of the day you really want to find out are these the people do they really want the outcome that i'm selling what outcome am I coming out there? Thanks so much, uh, Mike James, for all these questions. 
Abrigado. Now, Mike also says, when it comes to the legalities of starting a business, what is the process? What routes should you go through to start an online business legally? Okay, depending on where you are, I mean, obviously, maybe you're in the States where you got to register an LLC, etc., etc. Here in Australia, if you haven't started making probably plus or minus up to 40 or so thousand, you can't register for GST. And also, I can't really answer this question because it's got a lot of uh, legalities in there and I'm not qualified to answer questions that pertain to, um, you know, legals. But... Uh, if you really want people to trust your business, if you really want um, people to treat you as, 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 as one of theirs as well, I think just going through the channels of registering your business and actually being known um, you know, that you are legally binded by some sort of law and you're not just somebody who is operating from their own bedroom that can just run away, etc., etc., I think people would like to do business with you because... Guess what? <clears throat> People like to do business with those they know, like, and trust. And if having your business registered increases the trust, then go go ahead. Liz Bogani, thank you so much for tuning in. And Chris, today I'm doing a Q&A. It's all freelance. Um, if you've got any questions for me, feel free to ask them. And also, if you want me to have a look at your website while we're talking like this, and I can check it for SEO, just type it in there and also type in your email address so that I can shoot you through, um, you know, the, the PDF of what I would have conducted right here, right now. I want to show people I can help them by actually helping them. So treat this as if it's your own uh, consultation with Prosper. And um, yeah, I really want to make sure you're finding the right kind of leads to your business, you uh, you know, putting out the right kind of content to your business, especially particularly pertaining to you, all right? So I'm testing out this format just to see if we can continue doing this in the next year, um, you know, so that I can be hosting Lunch and Learn question and answers every single Friday. The reason being, this has been a total success within our business. I really now want to make sure we're utilizing it in such a way that everybody else is benefiting. Now, Mike says, when it comes to finance, what should I focus on uh, when it comes to managing our money and budgeting accordingly? Is money management important? Of course, cash flow is the reason why 95% of businesses fail within the first year. All right. You are here to create um, some sort of sustainable cash flow so that you can pay your suppliers. You can pay yourself. You can pay for some services online. So at the end of the day, if you are not managing your money, if you are not looking after the cash flow, you will soon go broke, all right? Without cash flow, and also money really does motivate you to want more. The more you get paid, the more you know that what you're doing is meaningful, the more you are validated because business is all about feedback. Right, so if you put stuff out there for sale and if people don't buy it, that's feedback to say maybe you need to tweak on, on, on the, um, the, you know, on, on what the product actually is. You need to tweak on what the payoff is, but you gotta make sure you've got consistent cash flow coming in. You know how to manage that money. You've got a buffer. You've got a budget for, 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 for learning. You've got a buffer for when, you know, contingencies. And especially when you're running an online business, you might need to do a couple of refunds here and there. You've got a buffer for that. All right. So you don't want that when people are, are asking for refunds or something has gone wrong, you don't have the money and you end up having sour relationships with people just because you did not manage your money well, all right? So if you're not managing your money, you're not managing a business. What's the point? Because we're here to live, we're here to learn, we're here to contribute. And you can only contribute when you're making a profit. So if you're not making a profit or if you're not keeping the money, because that's the whole point as well. You could make a whole bunch of money, but if you're not keeping it, it's not. it doesn't matter how much you make. It matters how much you get to keep. All right. Now, Robert says in Canada, registering as a sole proprietor. Uh, I missed that one. Hold on. Let's go. Let's go. Is a good idea if you're going to be OK for tax purposes. Thank you so much, Robert, for that. Now, Mike says when it comes to sales, how can we close more sales uh, for someone starting out? Sales can be a challenge. How can we make it simpler to see results? All right. So obviously you need to define to yourself 
what your sales process really is. Some people have a six step process, some people have a one step sales process. All right, when you close a sale, you're not closing a sale, you're opening up a relationship with that person because that person is trusting you with their money so that you can offer them whatever goods or services that you're purchasing, you're sending out to them. All right, you're creating relationships with them. So take off that mindset. I know Grant Cadon or all the other people tell you to be always be closing, but no, you are creating relationships with these people. So if you've got that mentality that now I'm opening up a relationship with this person, the whole sales process becomes very easy. All right. It's like it's like closing on your first date or it's like, you know, closing on somebody giving you your number, uh, their number, um, you know, while you're at the bar. If you treat sales like it's now the next step, um, you know, towards you offering your service, your goods and your, um, you know, your, whatever it is that you're offering to that person, you make it easier on yourself and it becomes seamless with the person that you're going to be uh, dealing with. All right. So um, in the process of you and then saying for someone starting out, sales can be a challenge. How can we make it simpler to see results? What you really want to do is because figure out is your products helping that person? All right. Is your product helping that that person when somebody says they do not want or they say no to your, um, you know, to your sales uh, approach? Ask them, can they refer somebody to that product? Maybe they are not able to purchase. Maybe their budget is not suiting. Maybe the problem is not with you. The problem maybe lies with them. Their worldview is telling them a totally different story to the story that you're trying to tell them. So find out, get feedback from them and find out, okay, what should I have done or what can I do in order for us to get you over the line? What is it that I need to present so that you would come across the line more than more nine times out of ten people are more than happy to give you feedback they're probably going to be like oh bruh you're too pushy or you're not giving enough value or i don't see the benefits or the service then you can then put in enough um you know value to that person because if you're just going to be bombarding people that are not willing and able because some half of the times people say no out of their own ego because they actually cannot afford that service have you ever considered that it's not that because you're you're you're, you're crappy at, at selling they might just not have the money but they've got that ego to to not want to be seen as they can't afford it so find out you can get feedback from anyone mike and ask them hey bro okay what what can i do next time just just for my own sanity, what made you not go ahead with this deal? Was it too expensive? Did it not cover the topics that you want? What should I do next time if I want to approach you? And then they'll tell you, ah, bruh, you know what? You know, my mother just died or my dog's leg just got broken. So I need money to go to the vet and then say, okay, when can I then come around and then make it show, make them realize what they're missing out on if they don't go ahead with your service. Make them realize what they're missing out on if they're not going ahead with your service. Like right now, I could ask you, you know, a TV might cost $2,000, right? And um, they probably have a TV in their lounge. But if what you're selling them can help them make uh, $80,000 a year, by them watching their TV, they're missing out on $78,000. So you want to really swing the pendulum towards the pain point, which is, would you rather have just $2,000 or would you rather have this little bit, um, you know, of, of software or this bit of marketing that is, has, has a capability of creating $78,000 uh, extra for you during the year. Now, when they realize that you... You know, you know, they, there's so much for them to lose than for them not to gain, then they will make a consideration. All right. So you want to know that or you want to discover from them. Are you the one that's at fault or do is does the problem lie with you or are they just broke? All right. I hope I'm answering your questions there, Mike. I mean, a, a bit of love. At, let's come on. We're going freelance here and I'm, and I'm trying my best to actually answer your questions. And those that are listening to this, just show a bit of love or send me your questions. Let's, let's see how this format can work because I want to make this stick. I want this to be a permanent Friday thing because um, you know what? 
we we got so much success with the 2 p.m. Um, you know uh, live lunch and learn so much that we want to make it um, you know part of the you know you know my marketing strategy all right so in as much as um, you know I come in every single day and just yabba 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 I want it to be relevant to you who is actually watching it so that it's, it's no longer about me it's now really about you the person that's going to go out there and create a business that's profitable and enjoyable now in the meantime I really just want to give a shout out to those people that are online right now thank you so much for hanging tight what are your questions guys let's um get this show on the road all right so Earlier on, I was speaking to Nicole. Nicole, if you're still around, Nicole, your business basically relies on you bringing in as much traffic to your site as possible. So, you know, strategies like that is you don't own that traffic to start off with and you have no, um, you, you don't have any control what then happens to them after. You know what I mean? After they've come through to your website. So it's very difficult for you to convince, um, you know, people to want to purchase things when you are also not certain how they're going to be treated, um, you know, by the service providers, uh, you know, uh, on your on your e-commerce site there. So I think it works. I mean, it depends on how you sell it. Can you just type in the comments there, Nicole, what is your sales pitch? How do you actually convince somebody to say hey listen i want you to come on my e-commerce uh store so that you can purchase things um you know instead of you going directly to that website i've got um discounts or something like that i think that's how you could do it but just let me know nicole if you're still on and uh those people that are on there uh just let me know what's up ask your questions i'm more than happy to, to answer them i want you to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable and um yeah i mean in the meantime it's just it's just fun to have um, you guys on so that I can also have an understanding of who actually is in my audience. You know what I mean? That also helps, you know, during the week when I craft the content to actually see that the people that I'm talking to actually are running businesses or actually are going, um, you know, I had in, 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 in implementing the things that we talk about. You know, because, you know, spraying and praying is not my thing anymore. I really want to make sure that whoever I'm helping, whoever, I'm, you know, whatever content I'm putting out there is falling onto ears that will actually utilize it. So what are your questions? Let a brother know what questions you might have, um, you know, just so that, you know, I can help you by actually helping you. All right. Let's see uh, any questions that you might have. I'm also checking over there to see... We, 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 we. There we go. <clears throat> so thank you. Big shout out to Mike. Um, you've been asking a lot of questions. Can you just also let me know in the comments there if I've answered any of the questions right or if you still have um, any questions that you might want uh, me to clarify on? Because, you know, <clears throat> it's um, like I said, I really, really want to make sure that everybody who's on there on the show today is getting value especially value that is targeted uh, for their business, for their work, and everything else that comes along with it. If you're running a business online, you would have a question, whether it's uh, to do with your website, whether it's to do with your um, SEO, whether it's to do with your marketing, how do you get clients, how do you get people to purchase from you, how do you create the content, all of that stuff. How do you educate your clients? How do you position yourself? All of those questions. I want to I know if you guys actually are running businesses that are going to be seen in 2018 or are we just really really just enjoying the motivation that also is okay but at the end of the day we're not helping each other if i'm not answering your questions all right what you got for me mm -hmm. cool in in any case 2017 uh, must have been a really good year for a lot of people. Um, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing for nothing. People, uh, I, I'm also excited that the ones that are chilling in right now, you're not going to be a statistic because you know what they say. Um, in the first year of business or in the second year of business, a lot of people will be letting go right now. So can you type in, are you, um, you know, what, what, can you type in if you're going to be present in 2018 just type in the words present 
or are you hanging the boots or are you getting, um, you know, taking it easy in 2018 just so that, um, you know, are you taking it easy in 2018 and then picking it up maybe next year or so? Can you let me know in the comments below? Can you let me know? Great stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, so sorry. Long-term relationships, the value adds. I wasn't seeing all of this. Oh, my God. Uh, Kerry is going to be present. Chris is going to be present. For some weird reason, I was not seeing all these questions, guys. So sorry. Uh, weddings and event specific. Uh, Kerry says weddings and event specific. Kerry, can you also let me know where you are? So sorry, guys. I was not seeing all these questions. Oh, my word. My word. There's a lot of questions here. Last question from me. How are you today? Mike, I'm doing well, man. Uh, favorite books to recommend? Top three. Uh, the Monk. That sold his Ferrari, uh, Think and Grow Rich, and you want to read uh, All Marketers Are Liars, Mike. And uh, uh, Chris says present, Nicole says you're going to be present. Uh, Kerry Barlow, can you tell me weddings and events? Okay, so if you're in, a, uh, can you also tell me, Kerry, where, where you're based? If you're in Australia, I want you to start doing something totally different, all right? If you're in Australia, um, you know, they just legitimized LGBT um, people can now get married. So guess what that means? That means that you now have your own niche that you can now start attracting to, all right? So um, weddings are easy, man. You, there's no... If, if I... Yes, you're in Sydney. So start attracting the LGBT uh, crew because they just are going to be getting married. And um, basically, people are coming to the internet, carry to get information. So what you want to do is make sure that you write, um, you know, checklists of what the bride needs to uh, create or what the bride needs to have. All of those things, when you start creating that content, they come to you. You can then easily market to them. You know why? Because you're providing and you're offering them value. All right. Um, Chris says, HTTP archive uh success law oh okay great stuff uh robert says that fellow zach is doing for us and cryptocurrency i find sometimes to like my moral support in his activities i am not sure if he has any specific pain but i'm keeping my ears um on the ground yeah forex and cry cryptocurrencies are not my forte i feel like they are just um you know things that <sighs> You know, they're volatile. You need something that's solid to hang on to. Uh, Courtney May says, I'm getting a lot of clients to my website, but very few sales. Exactly. That happens a lot. And I'm not sure what is going on. I'm scared to waste so much money on Facebook advertising since I don't understand some of the things. All right. So this is Courtney. Courtney, how you doing, my love? Courtney, put a, first of all, put a pixel on your website. Put a code for um google analytics on your website so that you can um you know track to see where these people are coming from make sure your website is also converting um there's what is called above the fold on your website there courtney may the people only take three seconds uh when they get onto a website so make sure by that three seconds you either have a video or you have a way of capturing their email address and then you can then, um, you know, ask their permission to uh, sell to them. And then eventually, um, if you are not converting on your website, check the copy, check what it's actually, um, you know, saying. Are you attracting the right kind of people? Because, yes, you may bring people to the website, but you can't make them drink. So you want to make sure that your marketing efforts are going to people that are willing and able uh, to actually make purchases off your uh, website there. So can you can you just tell me what it is that you sell and how do you know that you're having people coming to your website? Because if you can track where they're coming from, then you can obviously be able to try and see what else you can do to convert them. Also, you probably don't have content on your website there, Courtney, because people, when they come to your website, they want to come and get information or find out what it is, what's in it for them. Can you help them by actually helping them? Um, another thing is your website might not be mobile friendly. And also just really, really consider um, what people in your niche are looking at these days and just provide that content for them. Because content is king. It engages them, educates them on what to want, 
positions you as the right kind of person to purchase from. Maybe your website does not have trust signals. Is it, um, have you got the social, um, the security SS, SSL certificate, which makes your certificate go HTTPS because on some web browsers, your site will be right written, not secure. So you want to make sure all of those things are in place there, Courtney May. All right. Um, what else would make a website not convert? It's probably too clunky. Um, one other thing, this is, this is, this is a no brainer, but a lot of people get it wrong. You should at any point in your website, it should be a three point, three click, uh, move to get to either contacting you or making a purchase. They shouldn't be able to click more than three times to get to a contact page or to actually, um, you know, make a purchase because you have to make it as easy as them as po uh, for them as possible to uh, make a purchase or get in touch with you. All right, Courtney. So you want to make sure that those things are set up on your website and um, you're providing them with value as soon as they land on the site. Because if you're writing things like, oh, hi, we are an award winning, um, you know, agency or we're an award winning company, nobody cares what's in it for them. You need to actually show them you can help them by actually helping them. All right. I hope I answered your questions there. Right. Um, ah, oh, why do I, okay. Courtney says I, I sell clothes specifically for more clothing, like ball prom dancing, um, using Shopify and it shows me most of my clients are from Facebook. All right. So if you're selling clothes, Courtney, um, you want to make sure that you write about the best practices of how to wear shirts like this with cufflinks. You want to show, you know, what jackets go with what tie you want to show them, you know, cause obviously if you're just doing that, you're not the producer of the clothes, right? You're probably drop shipping from another, um, uh, you know, maybe Chinese, uh, company. So you really want to make sure you give them information because you can't invite people to a party and then there's no snacks for them to nibble on their Courtney. All right. So you want to really, really make sure that, um, you've got that in check. All right. Now, um, pro currency, Nicole, only you understand what you're talking about, because if you can't explain to the person who can purchase what you're going to buy, how do you expect them to understand? I understand a lot of things, but I'm, I'm not understanding that pro currency. So where does it get used? Is it like a cryptocurrency or where else can I use it besides your own website? Because if my grandma cannot use that pro currency, it's going to be hard for you to convert people or to ask them or to want them to want to purchase from you. So you need to be showing them that there is value in them actually using the currency that you're putting out there. All right, guys. Um, let me just have a look at my calendar because this is going on too good. Um, I'll just check um, when my next uh, meeting is because now I can see it's almost 2.30. Um, and uh, Chris says, are blogs on the way out? Blogs are the basic language of Google. B-L-O-G-S, Chris. Basic language of Google. Google, just like people, like fresh content. So if you're not syndicating any content, if you're not refreshing your website every single time, people are not going to come to your site. But you got to make sure that whatever you're doing with those blogs, whatever you are um, uh, putting out there, Chris, it's, 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 it's relevant content so that people keep coming back for more. All right. So Google will not index your homepage every single day, but it will index new content. So the only way you can have new content on your website is through a blog, but you can also cheat the system by having the blog. Instead, people are no longer reading. They're just skimming through. So you can either make the, the, the blog really, really small, or you can make a video so that people can watch that video. All right. Nicole, Matthew, Corey Smith. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, Leanne Cohans, I've got a, uh, okay. All right, so when my next call comes in, that's when I'll jump off. In the meantime, let's see what you guys have got, all right? I really want to help you guys by helping you. Now, Matthew says, have you tried Adobe Spark and Ripple for one nice presentations? Yes, I have. 
Um, I've got a lot of videos out there from uh, Adobe Spark and Ripple. I don't like the fact that you have to pay to get all the other services from Ripple and, um, and stuff like that. But yeah, people are watching videos these days, so you gotta create content that's snackable, bite-sized content, all right? Matthew, you're absolutely on the money with that Adobe Spark and Ripple, but choose, choose the one and make it consistent, all right? Now, Courtney May says, could you please explain SEO and why I need that? All right. So basically, you need to know two things about SEO, authority and optimization. All right. So authority or optimization means you are just telling Google that what is it that you actually do? Where do you do it from and who needs to know what you do? All right. So every time somebody types in on Google, um, you know, you know, prom clothes, like what you do there, Courtney May, or, um, you know, looking for some sort of a service, they, Google will then know what website to pull out of. And then authority means your website is, uh, is supported or it means your website is credible. All right. So the more authority you have, the bigger uh, chances that Google will recommend uh, people to your website because they wouldn't want to recommend the searcher to a van that has got a sign sticking out saying candies inside or free hugs inside. They want to make sure that the content that they um, are sending people to is relevant. Google does not care about you, the business person. They care about the user's experience. So they want to make sure that by you having other websites linking back to your site, they are slowly voting for you to say, yes, we trust Courtney's website. That's why we're willing to vouch for it. So your website is like a book in a bookshelf and Google is the librarian. By you creating authority around your website and by you creating um, you know, optimization around your website, if somebody goes and stands in front of a library and says, I want a book by Tony Robbins that speaks about money, Google will know the relevant book to pull out and the user will have a really good user experience. I hope that answers your question there, Courtney May. I hope that answers your question there, Courtney May. All right, EC Aladijobi. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you've got any questions, let a brother know. I'm really uh, enjoying this today because, um, you know, I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. So I really want to help everybody by actually helping them and uh, making sure that Chris, thank you so much for hanging in. I hope I've answered all your questions. Sorry, I missed the early ones. Um, yeah, but it's one of those things. So half of the time, guys, if you can't explain what you're doing, um, um, it's going to be difficult for other people to know what you actually do. Courtney says, thank you. So how do I choose between companies? Uh, because I have been having heaps of people offering their services, but not sure. All right. So basically, if a company is approaching you, look them up um, by certain keywords. So if you really want to see, because uh, that's my main job. If they cannot rank their own website, how are they going to be able to rank you, um, your website as well? And make sure you've got a budget, all right? Because at the end of the day, it's not about you looking for the company and looking for the cheapest. You really need to get <clears throat> somebody who's going to give you results and have a budget because SEO is um, SEO is uh, is an investment, all right? Um, Chris says, "I still don't know what to do." Chris, I always say this: your life story and your experience have greater market value than you could ever think of. You're here to make a difference in the world. <clears throat> so you can use your how-to information, package it in such a way that you can help other people by actually helping them. Ricky Martin, thank you so much for tuning in. Have you got any questions? Um, we will go on up until my next call comes in. So Chris, I always talk about this story. You know, my little girl, um, you know, when she was two, we would and she was learning how to walk, etc., etc. I would take her for a walk, right? And every time she was, um, you know, uh, you know, tripping on her shoelaces. And then one day, I taught her how to tie her shoelaces. So naturally, you know what that means. I then help you. I then help. I, I then helped her get, uh, you know, um, rid of that pain. So you might know something that a lot of people don't that you may help them to get rid of that pain. And uh, Nicole says, what don't you understand about iPro network building an economic system? Uh, I don't know, man. 
It's it's not a business. I I cannot see it. I cannot see it functioning beyond you and the people that you sell it to. You know, because because what I really do do, Nicole, I'm, and I know you're probably not going to take this on or you're probably going to hate me for this. But I really want to help people create businesses that are meaningful to the world. Do you know what I mean? Things that are actually helping other people, um, you know, sustain the world and, and, and really put stuff out there. Because if it's if it gets too cryptic, people are too tired of trying this, trying that and, um, you know, figuring out stuff. And, and just being put in and being held hostage to things that are not going to help them in the future. Show me where the currency is going to buy or purchase or, 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 or help anybody else. And then maybe I might start understanding how it may be of use. Now, Courtney says, so helpful. Thank you. I will have to come to you to do the SEO thing. Courtney, you have to bring you and a budget because I'm not going to take you on if you're just dabbling. You're going to have to come to me if you're willing to commit to this thing. You're going to have to come to me, um, you know, if um, if you really, really understand that this is not just um, you a way of you to get money. You're actually helping people. All right. I, I work with people that are really heading somewhere. I work with people that really understand that. What they're running is a business that they are going to have to um, will to their kids and is a legacy. All right. So that's my kind of client that I really want to work with. I can help you or we can have a chat. Um, if, if you're really serious and you know you've got a budget, minimum packages that I start off with is 1500 which means you got to be having a product that sells or retails off at least $700. That means you only have to sell two of your products in order to justify my services. So if that's something you want to know more about, just type in the words coffee and then I'll be more than happy to have a chat with you. But in the meantime, um, yeah, if, if you're really serious about looking at SEO, first of all, I really want that you understand it is an investment. It's not a get rich quick scheme. All right. Cool stuff. Cool stuff, cool stuff. And uh, I really appreciate everybody else is coming in with um, their questions right there. Um, it's just so humbling to be able to be of service and to actually um, help you guys by actually helping you. Now, if anyone has anything that I have missed out on or anything that we need to uh, talk about, Adam AE, thank you so much for tuning in, brother. Today, I'm just ask, answering questions as they come. Robert says, Chris, if you want to hang out sometime, uh, maybe bouncing ideas off of me could help you find your direction. Cool. All right. I'm happy also that people are, you know, figuring, um, you know, stuff out on each other there. That's pretty cool. Um, at the end of the day, guys, one thing you really got to do is you really got to immerse yourself in your business. Don't just hook up with the business just because it's a means to an end. You want to properly get married to that bitch, all right? Because some people are just dabbling and they're not really focused on what is it that they're putting out there. Because take example of my own business. I'm working with people's hopes, dreams, and I'm working with people that really, really need to go somewhere else, all right? So I can't stop showing up, all right? So you really, really need to figure out um, who are you serving what is it that you're actually, um, um, you know, giving out there and who needs it? All right. Because just having a business and just being sold that it's going to be global when you actually don't understand it yourself. It's it's a, it's a, it's it's a, it's a recipe for disaster. Do you know what I mean? You're just really heading nowhere um, real quick. OK, so first of all, be the first person, be your own customer within your business. All right. Can you also just type in um, your in, in the comments there? Do you actually buy your own products? Can you let me know? Do you buy your own products? I want you to let me know if you actually purchase your own products. So type it in there and let me know. Um, Robert says my time is very flexible. No cost. This is to support what Prosper is doing. Thank you so much, Robert, for that. Um, cause at the end of the day, you know, sometimes I get too busy and yes, Robert is always there to, um, you know, help other people, you know, and in the process, you know, everybody else benefits. All right. So thank you so much for those that are putting in their questions 
and those that are actually um I do hmm huh. yes invested in my own growth great stuff Courtney says I also purchased yes because if you're your own customer then you would know what is it that you actually need and what does your product actually satisfy now Matthew says I wouldn't sell the product which I wouldn't buy myself and I have bought my own product absolutely and um if i may yeah we've done we've done work together before right when i was gonna put out that magazine matthew and then you you yeah you you had really good um yeah you've got really good work so kudos to that i hope you've been doing well by the way and robert says okay i understand that quite well chris i knew years ago in general sense but finding the exact focus was my journey and I am my own best customer. Absolutely. Because if you're not buying your own product, then obviously that business is not going to go far because you got to really want your business to exist in the world, even if you're not the person that's running it. That way, that's a surefire way to guarantee that that business is going to go ahead. All right. So what do you think of this format on Fridays, guys? Um, you know, just you guys are asking all these questions and yeah, just going freelance like this. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this because then we will make it stick every Friday in 2018. If you guys enjoyed this sample, then we will be doing it like this every single Friday. So if you enjoyed this, type in number one. If I haven't answered your questions, type in number two. If you're indifferent, type in number three. All right. So if you enjoyed it and you want to see more of this, type in the number one. And if you, if I haven't answered your question, type in the number two. If you're indifferent and you're just meh, type it number three. All right. Nicole says, I enjoyed it. Number one, because this is a strategy that I call help people by actually helping them. There's a lot of one click wonders out there. Copy and paste people that just copy stuff off of the internet, put it, put it out as a status. I'm really out here answering raw as we go and uh, yeah, pretty much really, really enjoying it. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want that Fridays, I free up my time so that we really are actually helping people and people can actually understand what is it that I do and if they can be a customer of mine. Because I want you to be able to know whether you can buy stuff off of me or not. Or are you just a follower that wants to touch the ham? All right? Because there's got to be a distinction. Are you a purchaser or are you just a follower? And then when you know your place, everybody else behaves accordingly. All right? So thank you so much for those that are participating. The number ones are coming in. I am enjoying that. It, it makes me feel so proud. You know why? Because not a lot of people can actually... I mean, maybe other people are doing it out there like this. Henry Mkandla, what are your questions, my man? Today I'm doing a question and answer and I'm going freelance off the cuff and um, I don't care what time this thing ends, but I think I've got a call in the next 15 minutes. If they show up, we shut this down. If they don't, we continue. Now, man, Courtney says, thank you for your help, Prosper. I've been doing this on my own for too long. About time I got advice from experts. Absolutely. If you want to go far, Courtney, go alone. But if you want to go further, we go together, all right? That's an African saying and a proverb. Exactly, because if you really want to grow, um, you, you're going to need somebody to, to be looking at all the, you know, all, all the blind spots that you may not be able to see by yourself. I invest myself in knowing what I do, who I serve, and why they need to hear it from me. And that's the reason why I'm invested in these shows. That's the reason why I'm going to dedicate Fridays to actually be a Q&A, open up the mic, and you can bombard me with whatever question you might have so that we actually understand each other. And sometimes, if you feel like you're no longer getting value from me or I'm not of value, please don't hesitate to click the unfollow button. You know why? You're saving everybody's time, money, and effort. All right. And um, in the meantime, I really, really hope that you're going to enjoy the festive season. I don't think there's any more questions left. Um, Courtney, if you're really serious, if you've got a budget, hit me up. Type in the word coffee and I'll send you a virtual coffee link so that we can uh, catch up and figure out what it is um, that you 
you really want and how I can be possibly of help. Um, at the end of the day, I really want to make sure you get results. I really want to make sure, you know, your customers find you when they're searching for you. Um, but maybe if the time is not yet right, when the time comes, let a brother know. All right. And those that had questions, <clears throat> Chris says, thank you, Prosper. Chris, thank you so much. I finished uh, reading uh, Jab Jab Right Hook that you sent me. So that's pretty, pretty good. Cough, uh, Courtney. <clears throat> Um, Courtney, thank you so much. Uh, I'll send you through the link so that you can, um, you can, uh, uh send me, uh, uh, so that we can have a, 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 a meeting. Robert says, thank you most kindly for this prosper. Okay. So do you reckon, <clears throat> so do you reckon we should do this every Friday then? So instead of me just coming in and spraying and praying every Friday from now on, let's declare this, that it's going to be lunch and learn Q and A. Right, so you don't have to watch throughout the whole week. You can just watch Fridays and you can ask your questions. All right, and contribute also if you understand. So I think let's make it interactive like this um, because I want this to be the best live show in the marketing space. So if you get, give me your support, we will definitely um, be going through. Chris has connected with Robert. I love this. It's amazing, all right? Every every people are connecting there, and that's the best part right there. Cool. Um, Yeah, this has been fun. This has been fun. I know what to offer Zach now. I will watch every day. I like the association. <laughs> Absolutely, because I want to create an experience, because you don't get this anywhere else, all right? And then open up Fridays to make sure that we can interact like this one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Um, in the meantime, guys, I really hope that everybody's um, got their questions answered. Is there one more question before um, we let go or is there? Oh, we're almost hitting one hour. So this has been perfect. You need to congratulate yourself, guys, for, you know, having having, um, you know, participated in this. This was an experiment, but it looks like it will be staying. And um, we'll then have to figure out what things we can put in. But I think a question an hour Friday. <laughs> Robert says one hour of power. I cannot imagine. I cannot believe we've been talking for an hour. All right. Let's see what's on. I don't have a call coming in. I don't suppose. No. Mm. Any more questions so that we actually complete the one hour? Because I think we're only four minutes, five minutes away from the one hour. What questions have you got, guys? Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. I, I thank you so much. Every one of you guys who's, who's in the, who's watching right now live, you guys have been there for me since day one. I, I can't, you know, you know, I really like expressing gratitude. And um, if, if there's anything I can possibly do, don't hesitate to explore that option, all right? I'm always here and I really want to open up like we are now doing <clears throat> this Fridays. Um, that Friday, the lunch and learn is going to be a Q and a so that you guys can actually realize that I'm the real deal. I'm here to help and I'm here to stay. All right. So is there any questions, suggestions, or is there any other tips that you might have on how I should conduct this live session? Today was an experiment. Thank you so much for making it real for me. Um, and also thank you so much for, uh, instilling the confidence that yes, we can do um, you know, open, open case lunch and learns. And thank you so much for being positive because by opening up the show like this, um, you never know who might just jump in and, and instill their bad energy. So thank you so much. Everybody else has been watching this for having, um, having this, um, you know, uh, uh, good energy. Now Chris says new book out tribe of mentors by Tim Ferriss. I've been looking at that. Um, hopefully I might be able to get that soon. Um, Robert says you have helped me a great deal prosper. Thank you, Robert. Thank you also, um, for all the people that you've dragged along. Um, you know, Courtney says how to get more followers in social media, right? How can you get more followers in social media? Um, people are coming to the internet to get content. Are you putting out content that they want? People have so much choice right now. They've got so much, um, they, they can buy all of these things elsewhere, but are you creating an experience for them? 
Are you putting out something that is totally unique that they cannot get anywhere else? And Chris says video. Video is absolutely amazing. Maybe Courtney, you can start off by showing your face because people like to do business with those they know, like, and trust. Right now, Courtney May, I cannot see your face. I cannot, I don't know who you are and I don't trust you because to be frank, your name on LinkedIn is totally different. So if you're not showing your face, how do you expect people to want to follow, join, collaborate or do whatever? You know, so it's one of those things. And Chris says video. Video is good. It's snackable video. People can understand what you do and how you can help them in, in a short space. Because they say a picture is worth a thousand words, but a video is worth 10,000 or oh, one million words. Okay, right. Uh, Jordan Knetch just tuned in. Thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. Have you got any questions? We were doing a lunch and learn Q&A, just answering all the questions that are out there. All right. So at the end of the day, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Prosper Taruinga. I hope you enjoyed, um, you know, watching this as much as I enjoyed creating this. Um, at the end of the day, what we're creating here is a legacy. What we're creating here is something that you can pass on to other people without shame, with pride, knowing that it will actually make you look good um, because we have created really good content and we've both collaborated. I'll be putting this video on YouTube um, so you can always go back to it or you can always find it back in the news feed. But in the meantime, I want you to go out and have a fantastic weekend. I want you to go out and create for and relate to the people you're going to be demanding money off of. And then at the end of the day, if you have any other questions, you can always put them on here. It looks like my uh, three o'clock is ready. Um, oh, Zahid has a question. What if you don't have any ideas for content? Is it better to do it anyway? There's always ideas for content, Zaid. Um, you can talk about your day. You can talk about what you do. You can talk about what, uh, how you can educate people. You can show people the processes of how you um, create your products. You can talk about how, um, you know, you find out what your customer's pain is. Put out the content that actually helps them. Um, you can talk about what other people in your industry are doing. You can talk about uh, what you learned um, and what pain you, 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 you were going through that your products can fix. You can talk about other people in your industry. There's so much to talk about in content. As long as you can open your mouth, brother, you have content. All right. I also have a PDF that I can send to you. Uh, if you can just type in content tips there, Zaid, I'll send you a hundred ideas of how you can create content. All right. But at the end of the day, it, you, people think that, that you overthink these things. If you are actually running a business, you run into people. Everybody has a story. And once you, you put out a story, people nibble on that. All right. So open your eyes and see what's happening around you. You can talk about who you met today. That is still content. You can talk about what you're wearing. You can talk about how you saved somebody some money or whatever your product is. All of those things are content pieces. You can talk about just about anything as long as you're creating for and relating to those you're going to be demanding money off of. People are always looking for stories, even in the old age, even in the, in the stone age. You know, they did those hieroglyphics. That, that was a way of conveying messages. So if you're not conveying messages through your content or whichever way to people that you expect to be taking money off of, how do you expect them to know who you are, what you do, and how you can help them? I hope this was helpful there, my man, Zaid. Uh, maybe one more question before we go. Maybe one more question before we go. Um, in the meantime, let's see. Good stuff. Um, is there any questions there? Somebody might have a question. Have you got any questions? Good stuff. And um, I really hope you can have a fantastic weekend, guys. I think this should be the last one. If there's no more questions, this is going to be the new format for 
uh, the Lunch and Learn Fridays. It won't go for an hour, it will just go for 30 minutes. But today, just because my 3 o'clock decided not to show up, um, I really want to create for and relate to um, those that are um, you know, watching and learning uh, in the process. Is there anyone else that has questions, guys, since my 3 o'clock didn't show up? Go on, go on, go on. Don't be scared. Don't be nervous. I should be the one that's nervous because I'm opening up myself. You know how vulnerable I am being right now because, you know, you never know what questions are going to come through and some people may just want to take you off balance. So let me know how I can help you by actually helping you. You know? Because... You know, we want to, we want to, we want to really do something different here. Show people that we're not, a, I'm not a copy and paste, um, you know, guy. I'm off the cuff, off the hook. Let's do this. If you've got any questions, let's see what we can come up with. Yeah. And watch this. If you're still watching, can you just type in the number one and let me know what it is that you sell so that maybe I can just find out what it is that's doing. There's about seven people that are watching now. What is it that you sell? Robert says, is it when you are most vulnerable that you can find the greatest things? <laughs> Absolutely. Corinne, look, Corinne, how's it going, my man? Today, today's show is freelance um, question and answer. And this is going to be the format for Friday. So, uh, Courtney says, do you think it's better to use a website via Shopify or get one created or no difference? Okay, so that's a really good question. Shopify makes it easy um, for you to copy and paste, but you have more control if you've got your own WooCommerce uh, website platform that you can control. So, if you start paying Shopify, guess what happens? Um, you know, you don't own that uh, platform. So when you start making real money, it's advisable to actually create your own website that you can um, create and update every time that you go along. But if you're just doing, um, you know, small transactions, it's okay to uh, run it through Shopify because then, you know, they've got the tools already and you, there's not too many moving parts, all right? Um, so it depends on the level of your business right now, but obviously where you are right now, you don't own most of the content that's on the Shopify site. If you stop paying them, you they take all that content with them. So you want to guarantee yourself of your future and make sure that you actually start owning that uh, the, the, the content you're putting out there. Now, Luke says we need to discuss web page creation for 2018. Obviously, Luke, you are getting noticed. Um, you know, that rugby team um, that just, uh, you know, promoted you a little bit. You need to keep up that momentum. Don't let that fire die because that's how the ripple effect starts. So you need a landing space, you know, own your online space, um, you know, and um, yeah, just really, really go for it. Because when you've got your own website, you, you can, you know, do whatever you want to do with it. Put as many plugins in it as possible and you are not at the mercy of... Um, you know, what if Shopify gets hacked? You know what I mean? If Shopify gets hacked, you are also going down with them. It's somebody else's platform. You are building a business on quicksand. All right. So like what they say, never build a house on the beach in summer because when the, when the rain comes, the beach gets flooded or the sand goes away. All right. So as you grow, Courtney May, you want to make sure um, that you figure it all out. Now, great answer. For now, it's fine because I'm still small. I figured I am definitely going to go professional website in 2018. Big things. Congratulations to you. Keep growing. Keep wishing. Keep hoping and keep working towards that. But if you sh if you don't show your face, don't expect any social media engagement. If you don't show participation, don't expect any massive growth. Because people like doing business with those they know, like, and trust. And the only way people can trust who you are is by knowing your face. Even kids, they can tell how you feel by the way you look. Alright? So, we are born 
to study people's faces right from the get-go so if you're not showing your face on social media you are not engaging and if you're not engaging it's hard for anyone to part with their hard-earned cash to somebody they don't know um who they are giving money to all right good stuff but i really hope that you will grow big and then you'll be able to afford my services in 2018 or 2019 guess what we're still gonna be around here all right so make sure whatever you're doing you're educating people on what to want you're engaging um your audience you're inspiring them you're providing them with value and you're positioning yourself as the person that can solve their problems a lot of people are just creating a website on shopify and um you know hoping that people will come you know build it and they will come it doesn't work like that anymore clients and customers and consumers have so much choice and they are not afraid to exercise that right um you know to 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 to, to choosing whatever they want all right is there any more questions robert thank you so much for being alive and uh tuning in if you're still watching this live just type in the number one and um if you are watching this in post-production type in the number two all right and also just give me a bit of feedback how are we doing so far robert can you let me know what how are we doing if nicole is still watching let me know uh zaid al safar thank you so much my man let me know how i'm doing if i'm waffling or if i'm being relevant or if i'm being helpful or if i need to go i take whatever feedback on board because there's no point in me sticking around here if I am not actually helping people and serving people that actually have questions. Zaid says very relevant. Okay, look at me, Zaid. Thank you. Thank you, my man. <laughs> I thought I'd get up and stretch out a little bit. <laughs> Robert Brooker says you're giving out a great deal of information. Thank you, my man. Thank you so much. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What do, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. It's, it's like a Friday hangout, you know? We're chilling. We're relaxing. What are you sipping? Are you, do you have a drink inside? Or if you've got a drink or if you've got a, uh, um, a snack, can you just type in what snack you're having or what snack are you enjoying? You know, and make me jealous a little bit. Let's see what you've got. Because you might as well have fun, guys. I mean, all of this, um, because a lot of people are too uptight. And at the end of the day, you got to enjoy what you're doing, you know. Um, Robert says, I have, oh, Zaid says, I have trouble executing digital marketing campaigns. I like thinking about the strategy and coming up with ideas, but doing part i don't enjoy what do i do um obviously you know you gotta reach out you know you gotta um you you really you really 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 gotta create and relate for your customers nobody zaid is gonna come and knock on your house's door and say hey zaid can you sell me those things that you're selling you know what i mean no one is gonna do it so the only way you can reach out is to either just do a live like this, show people you can help them by actually helping them, all right? Try, start there, or just put up status updates and really connect with people, because people just really need to be acknowledged, that's all. Right now, if I didn't acknowledge you, you would have gone a long time ago. You know, we are social beings, we, they just need to be acknowledged. Now, Courtney says, I like how you get dressed up when you work in your own home. Absolutely, because what I do is really important, so I dress for the job that I want. You know, I'm going to be a CEO of a $100 million uh, enterprise. So I have to actually start dressing for the job that I want. Even if I'm at home or whatever it is, I also want my clients to know that I mean business. I'm serious about what I do. I take myself serious, which means I'm going to take their work serious as well. All right. So that's the reason why I dress up like this, because... It also anchors me because if I'm going to show up in my office, then that means I don't respect my work. You know, that means I don't respect my work. That means I don't respect myself. That means I don't respect what I do. So at the end of the day, if 
You are not showing people that you absolutely care about your work, maybe through your symbols, your website, or the way you dress, the way you talk, the way you acknowledge them. It will be difficult for them to want to do business with you. Brendan J. Glenville, how's it going, my man? Thank you so much. I think we've been sitting here for over an hour. It is over an hour now, and we've been talking, and people have been asking questions. So if you've got any questions that can help your business to be profitable and enjoyable, Please let me know so that I can get them all answered. All right. Yeah. So Courtney, that's what I was saying that I really take what I do seriously. And um, yeah, I want to show my customers that I'm not just a one click wonder. I really do want to win in this. And I also want to, you know, I've got their interest at heart. So as soon as I walk through that door, it's a whole different territory. But beyond there. There's my little girl, there's love, there's a family that goes on there. But in this office here, this is the headquarters of a $100 million company in the making. So I got to take that position seriously. I have to take that position seriously. Mm. You know, we can't mess around with that. And uh, Zaid says you can do it. Absolutely. And it's not going to happen, you know, just doing this consulting, right? It's going to happen in four stages. So the first stage is this consulting and, um, you know, with the digital marketing company. And then the second stage is we're already in the, in the talks um, with the developer to create a software as a service. That will just propel my income to over half a million once I have the software as a service that's running uh, behind the scenes. And then pretty much after that, I'm going to be investing in some of the businesses that I'm helping with the, um, you know, with the digital marketing. So I will be, you know, investing in their business because the people that I'm working with are actually creating really big businesses. So that's third stage. And then the fourth stage, as uh, Zaid says, what's the software? Okay. I don't know if you've seen my blueprint. So the software <coughs> will be helping people to follow this blueprint. It will be your DIY. It will be your digital marketer in the, po in the pocket. All right. So it will be gamified in such a way every day that you put out content, you put out, I mean, it registers that you've done that. And then it prompts you that you have to do something on positioning. It prompts you that you have to measure and track your results. It prompts you to do something that puts up your authority. So it will be your mentor. Uh, I'm actually calling it pocket mentor. <clears throat> I don't know if we can quite use that name yet, but it will be helping people as they go, you know, uh, uh, conscientizing them and reminding them. So a person like you, Zaid, who is finding it difficult to follow through with their digital marketing, you're, you will have a software that will be telling you what to do and actually, um, you know, yes, Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Zaid. Um, <clears throat> let me know if you want to be, um, you know, invited to beta test the, the, the software because there's no software out there that's helping people to actually build a business. Most software is just touch, touch, touch. Nothing is like a mentor. Um, and people always have their phones anyway, and they might forget. So it prompts you every single moment that you haven't put out content that is specifically engaging. It tracks your results. It tracks your marketing online. It, it tracks your calls to action and figures out what do you, what should you do more of? What should you ditch, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And then you'll be gaining what are called successories. All right. So successories are the little <coughs> successes that you're gain, going towards your game, your biggest goal. So, you know, like an outfit has, you know, you have all these accessories. So there's no goal that, you know, there's no complete outfit that doesn't come with little um, accessories. So you'll be having what are called successories. And every step that you go, you pick up successories. We're gamifying it to make it fun to actually build a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So that's 2018 for me. <clears throat> Courtney says, so did you study marketing at uni? You don't have to answer it if it's too personal. No, I don't. No, I did not study marketing at uni. I actually, <clears throat> I actually read all the stuff that I'm talking about. All right. Um, you know, I actually just read every single day and constantly, constantly practicing, testing and learning what's working and what's actually not working. 
um, and etc. etc. So yeah, no, I, I did not study marketing at, at uni. I practice marketing. I'm a practitioner. I'm not a textbook marketer. Elizabeth Isis, thank you so much for tuning in. All right, I need to wind this up so that I can reserve and conserve my energy. But you guys have been fantastic. This has been fun doing. Um, you know, we're just out here trying to break records. I think this is probably the longest live I have done and I'm still relevant. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Is there any more questions? Um, yeah, just really trying to push it to the max. And um, yeah, and this wasn't planned. I didn't expect to go this long. I did not actually expect um, to even be doing a question and answer. I just thought, you know what? This is something that is probably needed in my marketing efforts to actually show people I can help them by actually helping them. All right. So if you're going to be watching this in post-production, congratulations to you and your patience. And if you've been watching this live, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, you know, this has been so much fun. <clears throat> I learned a lot about a whole bunch of you guys that are uh, in my audience. And it's, it's good to see, good to know who is around there doing what uh, and what are they good at and etc etc some people are just there um they they don't know what they're doing judging and based on the questions that they're asking there so it's, it's also good to know and those that have got really good questions because you can you can really um tell a person's you know level of confidence in themselves by the questions they ask so you guys have been fantastic nobody and no question is is um what do you call it? No question is a silly question. So everybody came came to the to the show uh, with all guns blazing. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna have to bounce. Um, but this has been phenomenal. Um, okay, um, I really, really, really am excited about what we've just um, you know figured out here. So every Friday from now on is gonna be Q and A. All right, it's not gonna be um, you know some sort of me just regurgitating stuff that I know we're actually going to be helping you by actually helping you if you enjoyed watching this um, let me know in the comments below but in the meantime thank you so much I really gotta go and replenish my energy it seems to have whew, diminished bye for now guys thank you so much